Well, Sean, why do you start with that one? That had a bit of everything, but at the end, a fantastic result. I think I start by talking about the, the immense pride that I've got in the, in, in the boys that play for us. I think that was um, testament tonight just by the character that we've shown, the resilience and the quality that we played with. You know, Dover are a tough team, tough to break down, tough to defend against. Um, and I thought tonight at times we were very ruthless in the manner of, especially the end, the way we put them to bed in the end. But the belief that we had up until that point was, was monumental. We talk about the magic of the cup, but I guess that game epitomised. It had a bit of everything, late drama, extra time. It had it all. It did, yeah. And it's, um, I think, BT are <laughs> quite happy that they've, um, they've shown it tonight. You know, we, 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 we weren't too happy that it was shown on a Thursday night, bearing in mind that we've got to go again on Saturday. But you can only affect what's in front of you. I said to the boys, forget about Saturday. Let's just concentrate on, on Thursday night. And we sure did that. And I thought the, um, you know, some of the goals that we scored were, were was, you know, good quality. It seemed to be one of those games where anything really could happen. Summed up by the fact that Mark Roberts runs down the right wing and, and sets up his fellow centre back inside the area <laughs> for the point one of the winning goals. Yeah, you know, you have certain drills in training, and that wasn't one that we worked on. So it's a case of, you know, maybe you should. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, using. I think that was a little bit of um, man management from the players themselves, understanding that there was a, a gap to exploit. And Robbo's gone down there, put a wonderful ball into the box. Great delivery, and Leggy's on the end of it. And, um, you know, we're delighted. But whoever scored the goals tonight, it, it, it's not that important. The one important goal scorer for me is Ben Williamson. I have to pay a lot of credit to Ben and, the, you know, the, I suppose, the, the tough start that he's had. You know, he came last year and he, he scored a, a lot of goals for us. He was a big, big player. He's not scored his goals for us this year, but he's still a big, big player. So I'm delighted for him. I guess the manner in which you, you were able to grind out the game really proved that just positive right across the pitch throughout the evening. You can take, although it is a short turnaround, take into the, into the weekend's match. Well, we have to take, I mean, we'll always play with belief and spirit. I think we've always have, you know, even when results have gone against us. I, th I don't think anybody can really question us as in terms of characters who are proud to put on the shirt for Cambridge United. We'll do that again on Saturday. It's going to be a really, really tough game and we're going to need absolutely everybody inside the Cam's glass to understand what's happened tonight and to back us, knowing that the team's going to give their all on Saturday for them. Just finally, also, the short-term focus will certainly be on Saturday and Wickham, but a game in the second round at home again against Coventry City will be another exciting opportunity as well. Of course it? it will. You know, We're playing against you know, 1987 Cup winners, so it brings a little bit of um, romance to the FA Cup. We're delighted that we're at home. We're delighted that we've got through tonight. We'll enjoy tonight and we'll fully focus, ready for Saturday. And we'll take care of Saturday when it comes. And then we'll take care of Coventry when that comes.